Welcome students. Today we are going to learn about Galapagos finches. It's also known as Charles Darwin's finches. So let us learn about that. What is so important about this finches and why it is often called the observations of Charles Darwin's finches. Hello students. Do you want to excel in maths and science? We have some don't memorize courses for you which can help you in preparation of maths and science. I have given the links in the description and you can avail 90% of the discount from all these courses. And if you will use this coupon code, you will get extra 10% discount on all the courses. Don't memorize courses are part of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. So Charles Darwin in 1885 landed on the island of the group of Galapagos Island. So Galapagos are the group of island it is the place where Charles Darwin was the scientist he landed in 1885 there he studied about different organisms the organisms and the animals who were present in this group of islands he was studying them and he marked some of the observation his most remarkable observation had been about finches now finches are the type of birds and he had seen them in 13 different varieties. So he made some of the observations that why there are so many varieties in this finches and what is the purpose behind that and why they have adopted so many changes from the original ones. So now let us get into the detail and understand that what all his observations were and why these finches have adopted so many features. So at the Galapagos, Charles Darwin observed 13 different varieties of finches. They all have different beaks, they all have different body size and they all have different feather size. So he observed 13 different types of finches only in this region. And all these 13 finches were differed with respect to beaks. Then Color of the feathers were present in their small region of the Galapagos Islands. Now Galapagos are the group of islands but that region is not very big. In this small region also he was able to see the 13 different variety of one bird and they were finches. So he observed all these different changes and all this adaptation made by the finches in this small region and he noted down all the observations. So that's why it is known as Charles Darwin's observation about finches or Charles Darwin's finches. He observed and noted that some of the finches eat seeds while some eat fruits and other eat insects. So as we have discussed earlier about the adaptation, all these finches have adapted some of the features based on their lifestyle. Now, we know that the need of a beak present in finches is entirely different from the finches who are eating insect, who are eating fruit and who are eating and who are depending upon the seed. Seeds outer layer coating is very very hard whereas fruits are easy to eat whereas to eat insect first you have to find the insect, locate the insect on the land and then you have to eat it. So all these types of difference in the food and their food needs made them adapted all those certain changes what we are seeing today in this 13 different varieties of finches. So what kind of changes the finches have adapted according to their food need? So changes were based on the food they take and accordingly they have adapted the changes in their beaks. For example, these are the three examples. And you can see in the picture also that different types of beak structures are there as per their food need. So seed eaters have thick and heavy beaks because they have to break the outer thick and hard layer of the seed. Then fruit eater has a stubby beak. Then insect eater had a sharp and long beak as they have to catch the insect. They have to find the insect from the land and they have to take it. Now these were the changes what finches have adopted. But now we are going to discuss that why they have adopted all these changes and why in one particular species, the finches, they have adopted the different food needs. Now these are the reasons behind that, that same species, that is finches were undergoing so many adaptation and 
they were almost a different features from each other with their beak structure and with their food needs. So Charles Darwin concluded, these are the conclusion of Charles Darwin based on what he saw on Galapagos Island. So Charles Darwin concluded that adaptation was something that an organism is undergoing continuously. This is very important word that adaptation is a continuous process that today we are Today we are seeing that fishes have gills to take up the dissolved oxygen from the water. So they have not stopped there. Even now they are in a process, they are in a process of adaptation for some changes that is happening in their surrounding. For example, due to global warming, the temperature of surface water is continuously changing. We know that. Even in those circumstances, the fishes and the aquatic animals are surviving because they are continuously undergoing the adaptation. They are adapting what all changes they are observing in their surrounding and what all changes they are feeling. According to that, they are adapting and they are surviving. And that's why they are surviving. If they will not adapt certain changes so that they will accommodate with the surrounding and they will adjust it with the surrounding, then they may die. They have to adapt certain changes so that they can survive in that surrounding and they will change themselves. So that is the continuous process and that is known as adaptation. So this process is continuous. Even within very closely related forms in a particularly geographical separated area. So even within one species that are finches, we can see so many different variations. Now, this was about why any one or particular organism will go or undergo changes. They are adapting certain changes. This was about that. Now coming back to the finches. That why one single species has shown sub, so many variation. That variation within the same species we saw because the birds have adapted to their immediate surroundings. Now Galapagos group of islands are group of islands. Each island has a different geographical situation. So the finches, where they were staying, they have adapted to their surrounding. Some got a surrounding with meadows or the grass. Some got a surrounding with fruit trees. And some got surroundings with rivers or ponds or lake. So based on that, they have adapted those surroundings and based on that, they have changed their food need. So that they their food will be available to them easily from their surrounding from where they are staying. So surrounding for food and shelter and showed variation. For example, the finches who were staying near the meadows, they have started eating insects because they found it in plenty. So that's why they have adopted some of the changes and their beak was sharp and it was long. So it was easy for them to catch the insect and they will survive in that region. On the other hand, some of the finches where they were staying, there were plenty of fruit trees were there. So they adapted changes and their big structures are stubby so that they can eat the fruit easily. So why they have adapted those changes? Because they have adapted to their immediate surrounding and to survive. Whatever food is available in their surrounding, according to that, they have changed themselves so that they will survive. They can easily those 